Mike, I play guitar in Sparks to Rescue. So the process we've been in for the past couple weeks here is uh, been recording our new record and pretty much, you know, we came in here and Nate laid down some drums for about a week, I want to say, for about 16 songs and then the bass and then my favorite part, laying the guitar tracks. And that was awesome because, you know, we got to experience different kind of pedals and, you know, different kind of amplifiers and that we actually recorded them in a pretty big room so that the guitars sound huge in general. And just like working with John, he was very particular when it came to guitar tones and you know, we would sit there and make sure that that tone for that particular part sounded amazing. And just making sure everything just fits, you know, and he's really particular with parts as well. Like if you're, uh, if you're recording a part and you fudge somewhere, it's just like, nope, nope, take it again, take it again, take it again. I can't even tell you how many more times I've heard take it again in the past, <laughs> like seven weeks, man. No matter what, we were just trying different things at all times for every song, you know, just making sure that that song sounded fucking awesome. Like, that was our goal for every track, guitar-wise at least, you know, I mean, for every instrument, too. I'm Toby, I play guitar in Sparks to Rescue. So, uh, when it came time to do guitars for this record, obviously, I was when I was the most excited about recording. Um, and that means I get to go sit in the room with John Wyman, and he gets to give me the evil eye because I am never quite in tune enough. We were able to get a lot of different tones for every song we did, and um, there's a lot of diversity on the record, so we have to like come up with different sounds for different songs. Yeah, I got to use my 72 Telecaster a lot, my Gibson um, Les Paul Special. I used those probably the most, and John's Fender Stratasonic guitar. And it was cool just to like, bring different guitars and put them through different amps in the same room and then maybe if it needs a, a different kind of sound like extra gain or tremolo, phase, flange, we just have like all these pedals we can use and we're experimenting with and trying to get different sounds. I think on this CD we're trying to sort of step outside uh, where we're comfortable and try to just sort of push ourselves to be better and we're able to uh, just mess around with different sounds for everything we played. Every single thing we played on the CD, whether it's guitar, a tambourine, a piano, bass, like everything was just very thought out um, and planned out and every note is right where it's supposed to be.